Hi guys, transform your Kali Linux into an AI powerhouse with just few commands. Just like this. Meet ChatGPT. It is like having ChatGPT's brain in your Linux terminal. ChatGPT provides a smart answer, helpful suggestion, and even can generate commands and code. Turning your Kali terminal into an AI bot is a breeze. Follow our step by step guide to enhance your terminal scale. All credit goes to the script creator, the R1D. Check out their work on GitHub. The link in the description box. Let's dive right in. So here I am on my Kali Linux. Let me quickly open about a section to show you the version details. As you can see the device name is Kali and the XFC version is 4.18. Now let's uh, close this and let me open the terminal. Cause we will do everything in this terminal. Keep in mind Shell GPT is created using Python. So you need to have an Python installed on its system. Python is usually pre-installed on Linux. If not then you can run this command to install it. However, most likely it is already there and yes, we are good to go. After ensuring python is on board, we need to run this command sudo apt install python 3 pip. This command install pip a package manager for python, which will come handy in our shell gpt setup. Now pip is installed, let's set up shell gpt in a python virtual environment. This step isolates shell gpt from your system python, preventing conflicts with other programs. It is a precaution for a smoother experience. So run this command uh, and hit enter. Virtual environment is now installed. Let's move to the next step. Let's create a directory with name shell gpt. Now run cd shell gpt to navigate to shell gpt directory. It's time to create a virtual environment inside our shell gpt directory. So to do this you need to run this command python 3 hyphen m vnv shell gpt. We create virtual environment with name shell gpt. Now let's activate the virtual environment. We need to run the activate script which is located in the bin directory within our local environment. So run this command to uh, activate virtual environment. Now to access the feature of ChatGPT we need an Azure OpenAI key. So let me open my Chrome browser and open OpenAI website. I will provide the direct link in the description you can uh, go from there. Once you have logged in into your uh, OpenAI account, then go to API keys. Here we need to create a key. So let me give a name named as Kali. You can give it any name and click on create. Key is created. Now copy it and click on done. Guys, I accidentally closed terminal. So let me activate my virtual environment name as ChatGPT. Now it's time to export the OpenAI keys. So run this command export OpenAI key equal to uh, your key. So let me paste my key. Once it's done, you need to run this command to uh, force your uh, terminal session to read your bash file. Now let's proceed to the install shell gpt uh, using python pip command. You can uh, run this command to install it. It is downloading the dependencies based on uh, shell gpt. So let's wait for it. All the dependencies are not downloaded and we are good to go uh, with our shell gpt. Now we can run directly sgpt command in your terminal. Let me ask, are you ready? Absolutely. Let's dive into your programming and system administration tasks. What do you need assistance with today? So as you can see, it is ready and we are also ready. Now let's ask it to update my system. So uh, let me ask it uh, as gpt s update my system and hit enter. Now we have three options, E, D and A. Here E for execute the command, D for describe the command and A for abort the command. Now uh, we will uh, press E and it will ask for our password. Let me enter it. As you can see, it is updating our system. So wait for it.
our system is not detected. Now uh, let me rerun the same command. Now this time I'm gonna uh, press D to describe uh, what command it is. So let me type D and hit enter. As you can see, it gives response like this command uh, update the list of available packages and upgrade all the installed packages to their latest version. And it is also giving uh, what each keyword do like sudo apd update and uh, hyphen y. Now let's uh, check you, uh, whether it is able to install any software in our system. So let me run this command. Uh, sgpt hyphen s and uh, install neofetch let me type e to execute the command and yes it write the com correct command sudo apt update and uh, sudo apt install neofetch once it's done let me run this command so yes neofetch is installed on our system Suppose if you are facing any problem with your kernel network, uh, write command like this. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna give this command, my Wi-Fi network is not working, what to do? So as you can see, it gives command that you can do this step to solve this issue. Uh, if you are facing any problem during your uh, ethical hacking journey, uh, you can uh, just run this command um, to, uh, to know the answer. And guys, it is not limited to that. You can do anything related to programming. For example, if you want to write a commit message for a git, it can detect all the changes and create a message for you. To explore more, visit the developer GitHub URL from the description and check what else you can do with. Must visit and dive into the possibilities. In conclusion, Shell GPT enhances your Kali Linux terminal with ChatGPT power, but it requires OpenAI key, which comes with associated costs based on usage. For those seeking a free version or alternative option, stay tuned to our channel for more updates. Until next time, happy coding. This is Jarvis signing off.